Hello, this is lecture six, vocative of English grammar for year students, Department of English, Faculty of Education. Now, the three things we're going to deal with, what is vocative, uh, what are uh, its forms, and what are its functions. Now, starting with vocatives, with vocative, First, it is a nominal element, which means it is an element that belongs to uh, uh, nouns or and noun phrases. It deals with nouns and noun phrases. Added to the sentence or close optionally. So we either use it or not. Sometimes we use it for certain reasons. Sometimes we do not need it. So it is added to the sentence or clause of so denoting one or more people which means which means here referring to one or more than one uh, people vocative refers to one or more than one uh, people to whom it is addressed and signaling to whom it is addressed which means those people which vocative refers to are the addressee or the addressees of the speaker so and signaling the fact that it is addressed to them it is used to address people used to address people now let's take this example John I want you John I want you of course it has certain uh, tone so I want you this is a clause a simple sentence which consists of subject verb and direct object subject I want the verb and you the uh, is a direct object now while well, John here is the one which is addressed is the addressee and here John represents the vocative so the vocative can be uh, initially or initial can be medial or final it is just like the adverbial the position of the vocative is just like the uh, adverbial in terms of movement it can it can it can come at the beginning at the in the middle or uh, in the end uh, at the end so uh, uh, John here is initial is initial John I want, we can say I want you John I want you John so here it is final or uh, I John want you uh, uh, medially now this is in terms of the uh, position of vocative now what are the forms of vocative of course there are five forms uh, for v vocative uh, starting with number one a single name with or without a title jo uh, 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 vocative the vocative can be or can uh, refer to a single name with or without title for example John or Mrs. Johnson or Dr. Smith or Miss, Mr. Ali Mr. Ahmed Mrs. Layla and so on or only Ahmed Ali Layla John Johnson without these titles this is the first form the second form is the personal pronoun you the personal pronoun you or an indefinite pronoun the you which is used for singular and plural it is the addressee which is the normal form of the vocative when I say you come here which is sometimes impolite or you go there or you or all of you come to me all of you please bring your your, your stuff here or the indefinite pronoun somebody anybody nobody and so on for example get me pen somebody or somebody get me pen 
or anybody here nobody here and so on the third type is the standard appellatives the standard appellatives for example family relationship with family relationship we use vocative all the time for example for mother mom father dad uncle aunt uh, and so on brother sister cousin and so on and so forth these are all vocatives used to use that used as appellative uh, uh, appellative vocatives or we can use the uh, appellative vocative with 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 the with the endearments for example my darling my baby my dear or dear dal honey and so on we can use them with the title of respect titles of respect for example sir madam my lord ladies gentlemen ladies and gentlemen and so on so these are all vocative forms with with, with the standard appellatives or markers of profession or status for example doctor mister madam chairman chairperson chairwoman mr president my lord and so on markers of profession work number four this is number four number four nominal clause which is very occasionally whoever said that is my friend whoever comes here is a good person whoever whoever is uh, uh, whoever I am his master Ali is going to be his master and so on this is the no, uh, the the form of the vocative which is the nominal clause uh, and five items under one two and three above which we have just mentioned above uh, with the addition of modifiers or a positive elements of various kinds this is type number five which is all the three all the three the first three types uh, plus modifiers or a positive elements so when we say M mr uh, my dear my dear mrs johnson my dear mrs johnson so my uh, so my is the modifier dear mrs johnson uh, is the uh, the vocative from two and three or young john young john young is the modifier and john is the uh, 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 vocative you with the red hair again with the red hair is the modifier and you is the vocative you over here again you is the modifier and over here is the uh, 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 you is the vocative and over here is the modifier and these are these are always used in in an impolite uh, language sometimes among friends they are not uh, implied or old men or old fella this is familiar and young men and or young young women and uh, so these are the uh, old and young are the modifiers and uh, uh, man f uh, fella m uh, women are the uh, vocatives now what are the functions of the vocative well it, uh, generally speaking it has two functions it either seeks the attention of the person to draw one's attention uh, of the person addressed and especially to single him out from others for example there are five students and I say with indicating to one of them uh, I say you Ahmed please come here to single Ahmed out from the other students or to draw Ahmed's attention I say Ahmed 
please be with us so here to draw uh, uh, Ahmed's attention the second one is to suppress the attitude of this uh, of the speaker towards the hearer to suppress the attitude of the spe of the of the speaker towards the hearer saying that Ahmed please come here so my attitude is I'm, I'm ordering Ahmed to come here or Ahmed please sit down or Ali go there and so on and so forth so uh, so in, in, in short three things what is the vocative what are its forms and what are its function this is the uh, most important thing in this uh, lecture uh, uh, thank you very much so if you have any question regarding this please contact me online and uh, that's all the uh, exercises which are in the book are so important please do focus on them uh, they could be uh, the types of question uh, in the exam